In this video, I'm gonna share with you a little formula that you can use to absolutely make your crossing routes a lot more effective in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm talking about the bunch tight end P boot over crosser and how we can make that just a little bit more effective whenever our opponent likes to go to the baseline 30 yard cloud flat uh, technique to slow this down. And honestly, it's relatively simple what we're going to do. All we're going to do differently is we're simply going to, instead of running our bunch with our three wide receivers, if you think about it, the crossing routes in this year's game, if you're running a crossing route from trips tight end, or if you're running a crossing route from bunch or bunch tight end, typically what you'll do is you'll put your trip set to the wide side of the field. Why? Because you have more space to throw corner routes and all of that. In this year's game, I'm gonna go out on them and say it's actually I think maybe better in a lot of different avenues to put your bunch or your trips to the short side of the field. The reason why is because the crossing routes get over the top of the cloud flats if you put them to the short side of the field. The corner routes don't even if you put them to the wide side of the field. So for example, if I ran the play curl flat corner and I ran it to the wide side of the field. Let me just show you what's gonna happen. I've got the baseline 30 yard uh, cloud flats. We got the wide side of the field. That's gonna give us more physical space uh, to be able to go and throw this ball. And what you're gonna notice is that this 30 yard cloud will get back and will basically take that away. So you see, I can't, I can't throw that anyway. Even if it's to the wide side of the field, it's not gonna matter. So this is why I personally have been thinking a lot about could I be running my bunch or my trips or my whatever to the short side of the field? And one of my good friends, uh, Spamming Buttons, I know that's one of his uh, preferred techniques and, and ways that he uh, likes to use his his offense and his defense is he'll run that to the short side of the field. Uh, and so, you know, it's just something that I want you to think about. And again, we're going to show it to you again here. Um, and, I, and now you see here again, now my bunch is to the short side of the field out of bunch tight end. Well, when I go to PA boot over, PA all cross, my crosser is now gonna go from the short side of the field and it's gonna go to the wide side of the field, which is gonna give it a little bit more space. So take a look at what's gonna happen. You're gonna notice that if I have time in the pocket and I'm able to, and I got instantly shedded, but you see that that cloud flat sinks down a little bit. Let me show you that one more time. I, it's crazy to me that I got instantly shedded in game mode against a one-man pass rush from nickel 335 wide without even an ability on that player but anyways let me just spy these guys just so i can show you what it looks like so i have some time in the pocket so what you're going to see is again i'm just running the bunch tight end delay fade watch the crossing route though you're going to see here that when you run the crossing route to the wide side of the field this year typically that crosser is going to do you see how that cloud flat kind of glitched out it did come back there um, and part of that's because Antonio Brown's route running. Um, one of the weird things about crossing routes this year is if they don't have good route, or, and this is probably similar last year, but if they don't have good route running, they don't run the crosser as well. They don't run it as sharp. They don't run it as deep. They don't get over the top as well. So that's just something to kind of keep in your back pocket. But if you take a look here, now we got Chris Godwin. Watch this crossing route against this cover too. I'm just going to wait on it. You're going to see that on the sideline, that guy is going to come down. and didn't do it right there for me. Uh, but let me show it to you one more time on the other side of the ball. Um, but he's going to come down. If Again, if you roll out all that stuff. But it's just something that I think we should start thinking about because um, the base or the, the, the base aligned 30 yard cloud flat thing is definitely something that people are going to do because for a couple of different reasons, one of the reasons why um, this is a really effective technique is because a base aligned cloud flat, they actually react to stuff that's not 30 yards. So for the, in this, that's different this year uh, than it was last year. In last year's game, they would not react to stuff. So you could throw like shorter corner routes, you could throw out routes, all that stuff. In this year's game, I've been noticing that they've actually been very active on stuff like that. So that's just something to think about as well. But anyway, let me just show um let me just show this real quick i'm gonna actually put the tight on a strict just to kind of clear some stuff out for me but if you take a look at this this crosser you're gonna get it over the top right there see how he come, comes inside like that that's kind of what i was trying to show you uh a second ago so when you run your bunch tight in to the short side of the field meaning your bunch 
to the short side of the field, it opens up your crossers. The same thing is true out of trips tight end. The same thing is true out of bunch from the play verticals. And so it's just an idea to think through that um, maybe in there are certain situations at least, especially if you're gonna to wanna to run a crossing route, where these, where if you wanna get over these 30 yard cloud flats, to me, a corner route doesn't, I can't find a corner route in this game that will get over a 30 yard cloud, at least not yet. I have one or two that might, um, that I'm still working on. But the crossing route does. And so if I can run a crossing route from the short side to the wide side of the field and, and, and run it like that, I'm gonna have a lot more success with those baseline 30 yard cloud flats. So uh, just wanted to give you that concept. If you want to learn uh, the bunch tight end offensive guide that I just released, I think it's the best offense in the game right now because again, I just can't get past how good P boot over is from a couple different perspectives. Number one, it's got great pass protection. Number two, it's got great ability to bomb every single coverage in the game. And number three, it has the elements of the bunch in terms of the flooding concepts, but it also has the elements of the trips tied in in terms of the crossing route and the post routes and some of those elements. So I would encourage you, if you want to get the best offense in the game right now, in my opinion, it is actually the bunch tight in. Um, it's super simple. It's super effective. And like I said it's super super effective so you want to learn how to bomb every coverage and just absolutely throw lasers uh, on the offensive side of the ball bunch tight end in my opinion is the way to go there's a link in the description of this video you can get the entire bunch tight end offensive guide for just 15 bucks thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get that guide there's a link in the description below